All right, so got the new Hypertherm plasma cutter. And the first thing I want to do with it is cut off this stupid plow frame. And we're going to see if old B store starts up. Take this off. Yeah. So I got this truck kind of kind of hot wired here with a little push button. A little bit of throttle. <laughs> the IDI. All right, so we're gonna pull this thing around. What we'll do is maybe, what do you want to cut the back first here? Yeah. And cut here. All right, the one thing I have to say about this machine is it's extremely high quality. You get an excellent cable for power. They give you at least, I don't, I don't know how long these leads are, but they got to be close to 20 feet. Oh, more than that. You think 25 oh, feet? 20, 25 feet, right around. Yeah, and I mean, good quality. You know, this... Stretch it out there. Okay, yeah, this you just plug in, and then this one... It's keyed, push it in there and twist it counterclockwise until you're done. Turn it on, crank it. There's a couple settings depending on your gouging or if you're severing or just regular cutting. And that's it. I mean, this thing's ready to fly. As soon as we got it dialed in and could get to where we needed to cut, um, it came off pretty easy. So. So the machine is definitely humming here. Boy, I'll tell you, when you crank it all the way up, it's definitely working. So this is like my third time using this thing. And um, I've never used a plasma cutter before, ever. And this works pretty good. I. It's hard to find a balance of how fast you should go. And I just kind of cleaned this up. I wanted to make sure there's no sharp edges. So this is 516's plate. And, and I mean, this thing blows through this fast. So I don't really know how quickly I should be moving. But you can see my, you know, I'm using this for a straight edge, which probably isn't the best idea. And then, you know, you just take this and touch it on here and drag it along. So I feel like with time and practice, I'll get better at it. Yeah, here's the, ooh, it's definitely hot. Makes a huge mess too, so definitely want to keep that in mind. Sparks go everywhere. 
it's not a clean tool by any means but yeah and then you can turn turn that off and that turns that yellow meaning that the gun is not connected I kind of like that so for changing consumables you turn that off and then if you turn if you flip this switch that should go to green or excuse me off so that's that means you can't do anything so I like that it has the trigger guard and the safety switch there that's a good idea that looks like it cooled down nice machine though very uh, compact I like the size of it again built-in air filter there I actually um, it wasn't running that great on this little pancake compressor this thing wasn't keeping up and I have this one in my barn uh, this junky Harbor Freight one and this is set at 120 psi and that definitely helps so you want to make sure you got really good air pressure when you're cutting this stuff minimum of 90 psi once I get some better steel to test it out with I'll take some more videos but so far so good nice product I'm glad I finally have something like this it's gonna come in handy so thanks for watching have a good day Thank you